the, for the start of 2013 because a lot of uh, analysts are expecting this earnings to be uh, on the soft side with only around 2.8 to 2.9 percent earnings growth for the fourth quarter across S&P 500 uh, companies. But today I think for the Australian market certainly iron ore stocks will be in focus. We saw the iron ore price continue to rise and this week we should start seeing volumes uh, slowly return to the market. Um, they'll be particularly driven by the kickoff of a US earnings season. It has been very quiet but a lot of investors coming back from holidays now. Of, of great uh, interest to us all at the moment. Just on a, a company related to the iron ore price, Atlas Iron, Tim, it's released a production update today. Just bring us across, oh, it's actually released a production update, but maybe kind of put it in context for us, I should say. Well, the iron ore price has bounced back, as you mentioned. Atlas Iron has said today that their uh, Horizon 1 production target of 12 million tonnes per annum is still on target. Uh, that's up from the full year guidance of around 7.7 .7 million tonnes for the full year through to 2013. So uh, production's already started at the Mount Dove uh, mine there and they've got other production coming online mid-year uh, in 2013 which will help boost by another 2 to 3 million tonnes per annum. So with the iron ore price higher and production coming online, this is positive for the company. Certainly Atlas has benefited from those higher iron ore prices recently. The stock's bounced back uh, significantly and the production has been, the production results have been good from Atlas as well. We've seen production guidance increase, we've seen cost guidance decreased and I think costs will remain key for Atlas like a lot of other miners at the moment. We've already seen that they're going to be uh, less focused on sort of long-term exploration and more focused on uh, their, their resources and uh, production at hand in the shorter term at the moment. And I think another positive for Atlas moving forward is the, pos uh, is the funding that they have at the moment. Their debt facility is more than adequate to fund the expansion for, uh, towards this Horizon 1 and it provides a buffer if the iron ore price does move back. So in, in context of the iron ore price, obviously higher iron ore prices is, is a positive for Atlas Iron but on the other side, if the iron ore price does fall back, Atlas Iron is actually fairly well placed uh, to, to withstand um, a, a sort of a decrease back in the iron ore price. But I think full, full year 2013 earnings probably are expected to drop off a little bit for Atlas Iron. But looking forward uh, further into the future, as I mentioned, they can withstore, with, withstand that weaker iron ore price. And they do have solid low risk uh, production growth uh, to move forward on. At the moment, Atlas is up nice for anyone holding the stock. Let's go to Linus um, because it's been kind of a, a legal nightmare for them in, in Malaysia, but now they're saying they're expecting to have products from the refinery there ready for sale within weeks. Tim Piper. Yeah, well, Linus shares really have been trading on the back of... Uh the, the updates coming from this Malaysian processing plant because it really is key to Linus's future. If you look at uh, the rare earths market at the moment, there's been uh, as much of as 80% drop off in, in rare earth prices and this has really hit Linus shares. Uh, and China, China production really does dominate the rare earths market. Something like 90, 80 to 90 percent of the market comes from China. So really Linus with this Malaysian plant coming online, if this is going to provide something like one fifth of the world's supply. So this will take a significant chunk out of uh, the Chinese market uh, dominance in this kind of area and can push forward. And I think really demand and supply, the amount of supply that's come online has really pushed down share price. Uh, sorry, has really pushed down rare earth prices, but also demand really hasn't been there. But I think with the expectations of China coming back uh, in terms of housing and a, a build up in infrastructure over there, we could see a rebound in rare earth prices. And I think a positive is, is we've seen Linus shares have found a fairly strong base around uh, 55 cents and have bounced off that level a few times. So I think there is some, some reasons to be positive on this.